let's solve a number theory problem from the 2020 Junior Balkan Mathematical Olympiad shortlist, which says that determine whether there is a natural number n for which 8 to the power of n plus 47 is prime. Before we look into the solution, let us first explore some small cases and we will look into some tools required for this question. So I list the cases from n equals to 1 up to n equals to 6. And we can see that when n equals to 1, 8 to the power of 1 plus 47 is equal to 55, which can be factorized into 5 times by 11. And for n equals to 2, the number is also not a prime, it's because 111 is equal to 3 times by 37. And similarly, for n equals to 3, the number 559 is equal to 13 times by 43. And so we can see that for n equals to 4 up to n equals to 6, similar cases also occur that they are not primes. Since we know that from n equals to 1 up to n equals to 6, the numbers are not prime, so it is tempting to say that such n doesn't exist. So now we will try to prove that such natural number n does not exist such that 8 to the power of n plus 47 is a prime. So now let's look into the tools required for this problem. Tool number one, we say that a is congruent to b modulo and if and only if n is a divisor of a minus b. Or we can say that a can be expressed in terms of b plus kn for some integer k. For the second two, we have that for all primes bigger than 47, p is congruent to plus or minus 1 modulo 6. And the reason why we choose the prime to be bigger than 47 is because in this problem, if a to the power n plus 47 were to be a prime, then the prime has to be bigger than 47. So in order to show that this two is true, we can say that if we assume that E is not congruent to plus or minus 1 modulo 6, then P is congruent to 0, 2, 3, 4, modulo 6. And so this means that E can be expressed as 6 times by K or 6K plus 2, 6K plus 3, or 6k plus 4. But in all these cases, we see that in the first case, 6 divides p. And in the second case, 2 divides p. As in the third case, 3 divides p. And in the final case, 2 also divides p. Therefore, since p is a prime greater than 47, it leads to a contradiction. It's because p can be expressed as a product of two numbers other than one and itself. And so we have our second two as been proven. Next, since we have shown that p is congruent to plus or minus modulo 6, we have two cases. In the first case, let's first consider p is congruent to negative 1 modulo 6. Therefore, we can actually write p is equal to 6k minus 1, where k is some integer. So we have 8 to the power of n plus 47 is equal to 6k minus 1. And rearranging everything, we get that k is equal to 8 to the power of n plus 48 divided by 6. But we can see that this must be an integer. And the problem arises when we can write it as 8 to the power of n divided by 6 plus 8. And so this means that 6 must divide 8 to the power of n. And this is clearly a contradiction. It's because 8 to the power of n is never divisible by 6. So therefore, p is not congruent to negative 1 modulo 6. So now let's look at the second case. Similarly, we can write p as equal to 6k plus 1 and be equal
equate this with 4 to the power of n plus 47. And doing the same thing, find that 8 to the power of n plus 46 divided by 6 is equal to k. So now, actually, we can divide 2 in the denominator and the numerator. So that we will end up with 4 times by 8 to the power of n minus 1 plus 23 divided by 3. So this means that 4 times by 8 to the power of n minus 1 plus 23 must be congruent to 0 modulo 3 by the same logic that k must be an integer. But we also note that 4 times by 8 to the power of n minus 1 plus 23 is actually congruent to negative 1 power of n minus 1 plus 2. So in order for it to be congruent to 0 modulo 3, we actually require n to be odd. It's because otherwise, we have that this number is actually congruent to negative 1 of an odd number plus 2, which is congruent to 1 modulo 3. This is a contradiction. Therefore, n has to be odd. So now, since n is odd, let us write n equals to 2j plus 1, where j is a natural number. Well, let us just disregard the case when n equals to 1, since when n is equals to 1, we already know that it is not a prime. Now let's take the number 8 to the power of 2j plus 1 plus 47, and we are going to reduce it by modulo 13. So we see that this is equal to 8 times by 64 to the power of j plus 8. And by reducing it modulo 13, we see that this is equal to 8 times by negative 1 power of j plus 8. And we require this to be not congruent to 0 modulo 13. Why? It's because in order for it to be prime, it mustn't to be divisible by 13. Because it is also not equal to 13, since it is bigger than 47. So, in order for this to be not congruent to 0 modulo 13, we must have j to be even. So since j is even, we can write j to be equal to 2j prime, where j prime is some natural number. And so n is equal to 4j prime plus 1. And so now let's take the same number and we'll reduce it by modulo 5. See that this congruent to 8 times by 64 to the power of 2j prime plus 2. And then this is congruent to 3 times by negative 1, 2j prime plus 2. But since we have that negative 1 to the power of an even number, this is congruent to 3 plus 2, which is congruent to 0 modulo. But this leads to a contradiction as 5 divides p. And we also know that p is greater than 47. So this is impossible. Therefore, no such n exists. And we are done.